So welcome to this nail biting encounter between India and West Indies today. The news from the middle is that West Indies have won the toss and chosen to bat first. So India in a difficult situation out there. India need two runs to win from two balls with one wicket remaining. The lone warrior Rohit Sharma is on the crease. And the bowler balls the ball and the batsman is beaten and the ball gets carried to the wicket keeper. The umpire seems to be in a dilemma. So what do you think Shashwit? Will uh, Rohit Sharma be going back to the pavilion? Uh, Ansh, I believe that uh, the third umpire's decision would be based on the technology of Hotspot and Ultra Edge. Uh, by the way, do you know how Hotspot works? Yes, I know. There are two infrared cameras placed at either ends of the ground. Yeah, and these cameras sense and measure heat from friction generated by a collision such as ball on pad and ball on bat. Using a subtraction technique, a series of black and white negative frames are generated into a computer and precisely localizing the ball's point of contact. Also, the Ultra technology helps in discerning between sounds created between bat pads and clothing during run of play. The technology uses the stump microphones to differentiate clearly between the sounds created by different sources, which helps in deciding between close calls in LBW and catch out decisions. Returning back to our decision, the umpires are seeing it from the front views and the side views. Oh no, to the dismay of the crowd, the umpire has given Rohit Sharma out. Rohit Sharma has to return back to the pavilion and the crowd is disappointed. Even the new high-end technology gears have their loopholes, which was evident from Rohit Sharma's dismissal. A lot of backlash was received by ICC in the form of tweets, but still Indian fans believed in the spirit of cricket with their head held high and chanting, India! 